Hi, welcome to my presentation about blockchains and artificial intelligence. So I'll start off with where we are now, some ethical considerations surrounding the technologies, and combining the capabilities of both. So without further ado, let's quickly recap on how we got here. So to begin, with the introduction of mechanism, steam power, water power resulted in the first industrial revolution. Thanks to this newfound source of power, a second industrial revolution that followed focused on mass production and assembly lines. What followed was the third industrial revolution, which introduced, introduced electronics, IT, automation, which laid the groundwork for the fourth industrial revolution, giving birth to innovations nowadays, such as internet, artificial intelligence, and most recently, blockchain. What we can take from this is that the technology of today is the foundation on which creativity, innovation, and whole new industries will grow in the future. We are past the realm of science fiction, now plunge into an era of deep hyperconnectivity, whether we like it or not. So let's take a look at some of the technologies that have changed our world and that could change it even more, shall we, starting with AI. Now, AI in its most basic form is a process of teaching computers how to make their own decisions. This can be done by learning through trial and error, or it can be done through programming a set of rules ahead of time. Now, despite some pessimistic views about how AI potentially, potentially taking over the world, such as a Terminator 3, much of what occurs in people's lives are already being understood and controlled by these artificial intelligence-based systems. For example, they include, they are in charge of chatbots. They aid in diagnostics of diseases. They look for evidence of fraud. They assist individuals getting from point A to B. They choose the content that appears in people's feeds. They write in news articles, paint in the matters of Da Vinci, Van Gogh, and compose music similar to the Beatles and Bach, the one. Nonetheless, it would be disingenuous to analyze our world's developments without acknowledging that there are two sides to every coin, as many of these technologies have ethical implications since they may be used in either destructive or beneficial ways. So let's take, for example, surveillance technology created by AI. In this case, every meeting of the Belgian government is broadcast live on YouTube. When the live stream starts, the program looks for phones and tries to find a lawmaker who isn't paying attention. Then the video of the politician not paying attention is posted on Twitter and tagged. Now, while this project has been well received by the public, imagine you were shamed in public every time you didn't pay attention in class or at work. It's definitely something worth thinking about. Nonetheless, let's look at blockchain. So blockchain is a technology which creates a decentralized digital ledger that can track assets and allows for encrypted immutable transfers between multiple parties. An asset can be tangible or intangible. Virtually anything of value can be tracked and traded on the blockchain network. I'll go into particular use cases of merging the capabilities of both later, but for now, let's look at some ethical implications of the technology. So let's start with the basic framework that is posed surrounding any technology that is determined to use whether it's ethical or not ethical. The five key areas regarding, are regarding governance, identity, authentication, access, and data ownership. With these concerns in mind, blockchain aims to address them by delivering on these three promises, disintermediation, immutability, and automation. Essentially, what proponents claim is that blockchain is governed by no one but a rigid set of rules, it may also be used to create portable digital identities that can be utilized to confirm credentials, and inputs can be automated, checked, and then verified. Access is all decentralized and encrypted. And lastly, blockchain is supposed to give users functional control over data. However, all these points come into question the true value of blockchain, since what blockchain actually is is simply a fork of a digital distributed ledger technology, which aspects drawn from variety of other technologies. This is because blockchain was initially intended to overcome difficulties of Bitcoin development, there will be concerns with the double spending and duplication problem. So when people say blockchain, what they really mean is a collection of technologies built on DLTs. So if Blockchain's ethical problems for organizations originate from DLTs, which has the real ability to combine the three. I believe that the true value of blockchain technology is not within blockchain itself, since improvements to certain characteristics of different technologies may better fulfill different use cases. As a result, developing ethics for these unique sectors must be done separately, since the norms and processes of, for putting them into effect will likewise vary. Another point to consider is that although blockchains themselves are decentralized, all access to blockchains must still go via companies, particularly when considering the several technologies that make blockchain feasible separately. They have influence over you regardless of whether they are your internet service provider, digital exchanges, so on. 
which brings us to our next point, which is that it's really important to know what these technologies actually are and how they affect. Them. To drive this point home, I'd like to reference Winston Churchill. When he said that we shape our buildings and afterwards our buildings shape us. This mutatis mutandis applies to artificial intelligence and blockchain technologies as well. These technologies are not inherently ethical or unethical per se. It's just simply a tool. The real issue is how businesses employ these technologies, which never be used to undermine human ethical values. Also, if history has taught us anything, it's that many technologies that start out as nice to have soon become necessities. Some examples include power, plumbing, and sewage. And as for us, this is most likely the reality of internet and internet-based technologies, which when combined, the possibilities are endless. So let's see what the future has in store for us, shall we? So AI and blockchain are two technologies that work well together in our current digital world. As mentioned, AI helps us value, understand, recognize, and make decisions, while blockchain helps us verifying, executing, and registering. In which many experts claim that when implemented properly, combining blockchain and AI can lead to a more authentic, augmented, and automated way of doing things. For example, blockchain can record transactions securely and transparently, and while AI can make smart judgments about them. This combination may make firms more productive and minimize manual labor. It also may help decrease fraud since it's hard to alter data. And we're only starting to explore what these technologies can achieve. So take for example, this AI-powered robot. It employs blockchain to monitor and record all items within the warehouse. Then AI is also then used to automate and sort the goods. This provides with a clear and precise record of how their items travel, as well as more efficient and automated methods of handling their product. However, the example I just gave is just one but one of the many ways blockchain and AI are being used together. Although we're still in the preliminary stages of combining these two technologies, we've made quite some progress already, as a slide shows a few things that have already been made possible by combining these two technologies. Now imagine a future where we have developed these technologies further, such as the future where every block of data was sourced using AI. What will it look like? Thank you for listening and your attention. This is the end of the presentation.